Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another video with me Mystery Flipping, my name is Josh, I hope you are all really really well. Um, so this video is just kind of a little roundup um, of the uh, seven, uh, 72, yeah, 72 Pops and £400 Mystery Box from Hell Pops. Um, first of all I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone that has supported the channel over the uh, last few weeks. Um, I have got so much gratitude to you guys i really really do appreciate it and a massive thank you to Hull pops for um making this possible um i have really really enjoyed it um this video will go up on monday um so i'm just quickly recording it um on sunday um but on what i would call today um all the pops will be alive for sale um so if you have personally messaged me i will message you um and also if you don't know where they're going to be they'll probably be on shopok or on marketplace on facebook um i'm not really a big ebay fan at the moment um i generally prefer to use um Shpok, uh, just because i find it a little bit easier and i understand it a lot better um and generally speaking i will always do paypal transactions because it's easier to kind of know who's paid what where it's going etc um and then really um today is just kind of well firstly saying a massive thank you um as i keep saying you know i can't say thank you enough um and then it's kind of um showing you um my three favorite pots that we got from um all of the actual boxes um what shocked me um, we've also got the biggest shock um factor um of a pop that i didn't expect um and then i'll kind of go what pops you know uh not necessarily uh that interests me as much because it's not my cup of tea um so we'll probably go through that first um for me um billions has to be out there i'm not a massive billions fan but what is good is that we got all four from it so having all four billions um, makes it a really nice, easy um, group on. You know, I, you'll get it on Spark really quickly, um, and that will be a really nice um, sale. Um, so billions was probably the one that I was least kind of entertained by. Um, probably followed by quite close to Caddyshack, just purely because I've never seen it. Um, cheers. I I wasn't overly interested but i've heard some really good reviews and personally i will watch it um to see what it's all about um i've heard you know some really good reviews from friends family um so i will definitely give that a go um i was definitely shocked in a way that judge Schmales was the cheapest it was the only one at three pound um again i'm not really that shocked about the four pound ones um it's really good that you paid 400 pound um, that included shipping etc um and in that 400 pound um the ppg of the whole box was still 557 so for a collector it's a hell of a purchase um it's still 157 pound that you'd save if you kept every single one um for me it was the entertaining of you guys on youtube and being able to open it but for me it's the enjoyment of having those 72 pops seeing what there was and i enjoy the actual selling part um i enjoy marketing a lot um i don't know why um but i absolutely love the whole marketing aspect um weirdly i think it's just going through my kind of career i've always enjoyed selling um so for me i'm looking forward to you know taking the photos picking on spock communicating with you guys um se selling them to you guys and actually having a really good foundation um then we go on to kind of what we're looking on to next once i have um enough i'm going to look at doing another kind of 400 pound mystery box um because to me i've enjoyed every second of this and if i can um sell you know most of this collection so i've actually got some room i will be doing another massive um mystery box um, like I said, um, Hull Pops is definitely my UK supplier. Uh, I don't think I'd want to potentially go anywhere else. I will always give everyone a go. Um, but to me, Hull Pops has now definitely got my heart. Um, and I've actually really enjoyed um, purchasing off of them and actually doing this. And having good communication on my videos with Hull Pops. Um, I'm definitely going to look at pop culture. 
I've seen really good reviews um, and they are a massive company of course so I definitely definitely want to purchase off of Pop Culture um, and I will definitely purchase off of Shumi um, at some point. I had originally planned to buy 30 um, off the rack boxes but unfortunately they got all sold out so that kind of went out the pan on that one. So once I have probably shipped um, 10 of these boxes so about 60 of them um, I will then aim to purchase the next load. Um, which will be awesome, but I'm hoping to get that done in probably the next kind of week or so, I hope. <laughs> um, then we kind of go on to um, the pop that I have really enjoyed. Um, so definitely the pop that was the biggest shock to me will be this one. So I have got four of them down here. But this is probably the one that I wasn't expecting to get. It's not necessarily my favourite, um, but it definitely got a reaction out of me because in that sense I was expecting it so I think we might know but it was the limited edition chase rainbow dash sea pony um don't get me wrong I think it's an awesome looking pop I'm not a my little pony fan so it doesn't do anything for me um but it was just nice after this was on the fifth video um having four videos plus pretty much nearly the fifth video done and they were all comments which I had no problem with um, for me, having commons are a lot nicer because you get more quality to me and in general, a lot more people are interested in them. But to get a chase version was a really cool thing to get. At least it was something a little bit different. And to me, it was a big hit. Um, and being worth £14 PPG was also quite a nice uh, little surprise. So definitely this was the surprise of the whole box um, or all the boxes for me was definitely the Rainbow Dash Sea Pony. Um, then we have my three favourite pops that I had got from this mystery box. And a lot of people go, I'm shocked that one of the pops wasn't in there, which was um, Hannibal Lecter. I haven't put Hannibal Lecter in my top three purely because I do have the bloody version already. Um, but I am a massive Hannibal Lecter fan, um, so getting the non-bloody version was awesome, but that is definitely not my favourite. Um, so I am actually going to do my third favourite to my second to my first, and number one will be quite a shock in a, in a natural sense. So my third favourite, and you'll see a little bit of a recurring theme, is definitely The Nun. Um, again, I'm a massive horror fan, so getting The Nun was awesome. and. I might speak for myself here, but personally, I think that um, horror franchised pops are some of the most well presented, purely because the box itself or the boxes always look pretty awesome, dark, sinister. And then I always think the pops themselves always have that extra little bit of detail um, on them. So definitely, um, I really rate the actual horror franchise pops so i really really did like this pop so this was my third favorite pop from the actual box mystery then the second and i think this was a favorite for quite a few people um especially that were horror fans and it definitely had the most kind of talk about um from the actual videos and it was the creeper um I love Jeepers Creepers, don't get me wrong, I'm, I like Jeepers Creepers 1, Jeepers Creepers 2, then 3 onwards kind of got a little bit stupid, but um, Jeepers Creepers by far was an awesome movie when it came out, and actually having the Creeper looks awesome, and it's really hard because it's such a dark pop, but having kind of the actual um, face look so menacing in, in real person, it's really hard to explain, but you can kind of see it here. It looks menacing um, as anything, which is what it should. Um, but definitely the Creeper was absolutely an awesome hit for me. Um, I definitely, definitely love this pop. And to me, I just think that the box is really well represented. Um, and it's probably my favourite horror pop that I probably own, apart from, and I, I, I will always say this, the Hannibal Bloody is by far my favourite. And I think it will be very hard to actually beat that. Um, though I will say, and this is not going to happen because I doubt Funko actually watched these videos, but, um, I tell you what, if Funko ever released, um, from the film, the, uh, How's That October Built, the Porcelain Doll, or Porcelain Girl, um, as a pop, I would be absolutely ecstatic because if you haven't watched the film, 
Firstly, go ahead and watch it. Uh, and secondly, she is absolutely awesome looking. So the porcelain girl from the Houses of October Bill would be an absolute iconic one. If not, definitely the baddie from Hellfest um, with the kind of dark skin um, mask on. He would be absolutely incredible to look at um, as a pop. She definitely, definitely start going for the uh, cheaper made horror movies because some of them have some of the best looking uh, villains in any kind of horror franchise but definitely the creeper is number two then on to my favorite um pop and it's not necessarily because it's my favorite looking pop it's because it's my favorite character from a favorite my uh, one of my favorite franchises um especially growing up um and that has to be wheezy um it sounds pretty sad you know, I, I I grew up on Toy Story. And the fact that this isn't like Toy Story 4, this is literally the iconic first Toy Story. Um, the one that I know, I loved. Um, having Wheezy was pretty cool. Um, you know, there is only one character better than Wheezy to me, and that is Rex. Um, so, for me, when I pulled Wheezy, I was actually really quite glad. Um, it doesn't mean that I would necessarily want to keep it. Um because that's not the kind of franchises that I collect, but definitely for nostalgia and kind of sentimental value of what I grew up on as a kid, Wheezy was an awesome hit for me. And I, I mean, that is exactly the pose that I expect, you know, at the end of, uh, I think it's Toy Story 1, when they're all singing and dancing, this is exactly the pose that I expect of Wheezy singing. Um, so I really do like this um, pop a lot. And it's by far my favourite. Um, as far as it goes though, the pops were in immaculate condition. They're in absolutely amazing condition. The way that it was shipped, the way that it was purchased was a breeze. I couldn't be happier. Um, and in an overview of it all, would I say for people to go and buy the £400 mystery box? Yes, I would. Um, firstly, you know, as any mystery box would go, there are going to be a lot that you don't like or you don't collect. But there are a lot that people do collect. So for me, even if I was to keep the Nun, the Creeper, Hannibal Lecter, you're still looking at making the £400 back. So for me, being able to keep some Funkos for my own collection and still what I call breaking even and then being able to buy more mystery boxes to open on YouTube and enjoy for the channel, enjoy for you guys. So, you know, not many people can necessarily pay £400 and think I can actually do it. Um, but for me, it's the enjoyment of actually it opening. Um, I know that, hands down, I'm very rarely going to get something that I'm going to go, wow, that's amazing, that's what I wanted, you know, because that's not me. But it was the excitement of getting pops that I've never even heard of. You know, I didn't have a clue what Caddyshack was. I didn't have a clue what Cheers was. But for me, it was an awesome, awesome experience. And I hope you guys did enjoy it. And as I said at the beginning, I cannot thank you guys enough. Um, the support, the love that I have had from you guys is incredible. We are so close to 100 subscribers. So I really do appreciate that. Um, and hopefully we can get the uh, channel going bigger and bigger and bigger. And we can really, really um, erupt from this. So, Hull Pops, thank you very much. Um, everyone that has subscribed, that has watched, that have taken time to watch these videos, thank you so much. I cannot wait to give you guys more um, content. And let's just hope that um, the next big box that we get is just as epic as this one. And apart from that, guys, I hope you really did enjoy the uh, six parts of opening the £400 mystery box. Hopefully we can do it soon again. And um, of course, much love to you all and I shall see you all very soon.